So it's the last day of February, the final day of the month built around the theme of love. <laughs> but before we call it a wrap, we want to talk about the love for our friends. Yeah. And how to nurture it. <laughs> we recently <laughs> sat down with our better manners guru, Jody R. R. Smith, and asked, asked how to better foster the relationships we have with our longtime friends. Here's her advice. So you want to be able to think about communicating with them on a regular basis. So calling, reaching out, getting together with them. Make a point. The people that you really enjoy, the people that you like spending time with. If you, I see you and I say, oh, let's get together. And you say, yeah, that's great. And then it could be a year because right. we haven't actually sat down, called each other, texted, and made a date. Make a date to spend time with people that you really enjoy. Your friends from college, you don't get to see them very often. Every two years, do a girls weekend or a guys weekend, but have it on the calendar. Really think about the ways that you can interact. So seeing them in person, reaching out to them online, liking their posts on social media, and then you want to think about the gestures. Mm. So are you acknowledging your friend's birthdays? If they've had a promotion at work, if they've lost somebody, have you sent them a card, showed up? Make sure that you're really there for people. It's these gestures, the actual getting together with people that builds that relationship. And you know, where do I go to meet people? Where, where, is it everything online or can you know? Well, it used to be so easy because when you're in school and even when you're in high school or college, you're around a lot of people who are the same age. Most people are single. It's easy to find somebody. Right. But as you turn into an adult and you're in the workplace and workplace is not necessarily the best place to find a romantic love interest. Okay. What you want to do is look for people. I say you only, the only way it works is if you get married. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but you want to think about what do you enjoy doing? What are the activities? What are the hobbies? What are the interests? Get involved in your community. Get out there so that you're meeting other people. And the thing is, you can meet other married people because all of us married people have single friends. Mm -hmm. And so you tell people, I'm looking for, and then give them your profile of the ideal person and let us help do some of the work for you. Or maybe I have a dinner party and I invite you over with some of my single friends to see if there's a love connection somewhere along the way. Hmm. So yeah, so don't be like, woe is me, I'm a third wheel, I'm not reaching out, I can't talk to them because they're married or they're in a relationship. Go ahead and tell your friends. Yeah, especially yeah. if they're married because they have their, the married people love to help fix other single people up. What about, what, let's just say you do fall for somebody at work. Yes. Do you keep it private? Do you keep it, do you tell everybody? What, what do you do? The first thing that you're going to do is read your HR policies. <laughs> Every company has a different one. I for real did that and there was no nepotism uh, policy yeah, here. <laughs> you want to make sure that you or the other person isn't going to lose their job. Okay. Do not think for a second that if you have the hots for somebody that other people in the workplace have not noticed. Okay. Whether it's the pheromones that people are breathing in or they see you look at the person, mm -hmm. chances Chances are they knew that you liked the person even before you knew that you liked the person. So as soon as you've gone on even a date, let HR know, let a manager know. You don't have to put it on the bulletin board. You don't need to make an announcement in the middle of the lunchroom, but let the people in the roles and positions of power know to make sure that you're covered and that the relationship does not become the topic of the office soap opera. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Jody. We appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. To learn more about Jody, to learn about her etiquette seminars, to get ideas for thank you notes and much more, head to Jody's website. It's mannersmith.com.